Hello everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore and today I'm going to show you another um, fun fold. This is a Z fold card. So when it opens, it opens like this. And this one's a little bit different. This is 5x5 five five, so you will have to make a special envelope for, with your um, Stampin' Up um, envelope punch board. And I'm sorry if I'm a little bit off today because um, my husband and I just got back from our 40th anniversary cruise that we've been waiting over a year for and it seems like it went by so fast. But, um, and the time change has just really messed us up. So it is like 5 in the morning when I'm trying to film this because my time is off we've been going to bed like really early and getting up like during the middle of the night so I'm still trying to get my bearings back so if I'm off today I am sorry <laughs> but I am trying to um, get some things recorded that I needed to get recorded before I left but you know time catches up with you so anyway it opens like this and I'm gonna actually show you this version only I'm gonna use the real red for the background on this and um, this is just a really quick and easy one because you know you can this is very really pretty even without the gold foil so I just wanted to share that you can do it any way that you like and I stamped this one with the memento black and then used my blends to color it and then I did the same with this um, I actually embossed this one with the gold emboss and then I colored it with the Stampin' Blends. So I like both ways actually the way it turns out. This one's a little bolder and I like that. Um, this one's a little bit softer but we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna share the gold one with you so I can give you the measurements of the gold foil. Alright so that's it let's get started with this. Hopefully I'll get through it with no problems. So I already went ahead and scored. Um, this piece is five by ten, and you're going to score it at two and a half by two and a half and five. And I already did that to try to speed this up a little bit because we are going to be embossing and stuff. And then this is the inside piece, and this piece is four by nine, and you score it at four and six and a half. And I've already done that also. So I'm going to bring up. Um, my stamparatus because I'm going to use that because it's a larger stamp and we are going to go ahead and stamp this piece. What we're going to use for this is I'm actually using the God's Piece. I love this stamp set and this is the first time I think that I've used um, the candle actually and then I'm using the May You Feel the Glow of God's Peace this Christmas for the sentiment. And then just for the little sparkles I did with the Delicata Gold is this Christmas Countdown. And it's just these little ones right here. And you've seen me use this one a lot. Alright, so let's go ahead and stamp this. We are stamping the larger um, side. Let me go ahead and fold it so you can see. So we're going to fold it like Mountain Valley style. And then we're going to just, and I've already got it set up where I want it. And we are going to ink it up with some um, Versamark. And make sure that you use your embossing buddy first because this is a large Im image and you don't want it flaking all over. So let's go ahead and ink this up. You can ink it, you can um, stamp this without the Stamparatus, of course. But this just makes it easy and I, if I need to stamp it again, to see, you know, to get every part of the image, which this is so big, um, I can do that. So I got to look at an angle here. And it looks like I got everything really good. So I'm going to go ahead and get my embossing powder out. I think I better actually clean this first because it's sticky and I don't want it all over my mat. All right. So let's go ahead and move this and I'm going to get my gold emboss out. Okay, 
it's really pretty with the gold um, embossed. Put a little bit more down here. I'm going to make sure I have it covered really well. And then we are going to go ahead and emboss that. I need to get my heat tool here. Okay, so now it's embossed. Isn't that pretty? You can even leave it like that. It's so pretty like that. I'm going to go ahead and stamp the sentiment with Memento Black. And that's going to go on this middle panel. This will give you room for here to um, write whatever you'd like to write or sign your name or whatever. Isn't that pretty? It looks so pretty, um, the writing and everything on this. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the Delicata, the gold. And we're just going to put a few little sparkles like around it. And then I'm going to go ahead and color it in. And I'm going to speed up the video because you have seen me color many times if you follow me. I'm going to just tell you what I'm going to use. I'm using Light and Dark Cherry Cobbler. Then I'm using Dark Pineapple Punch. And then I'm also using Light and Dark Granny Apple Green Shaded Spruce. And Dark Mel Mango Melody. And then Light Mint Macron. And that is all that I'm using for this. So let's go ahead and get started coloring. Okay, so now because I colored that, you can see a little bit through the back side. It's not really bad. You can leave it like that. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put some another, this is three and a half by three and a half. And I'm going to put that on um, the back side of this card. Just because it kind of bugged me that I can see. And I knew it was going to be see-through there. And you're not going to really see it because it is going to be glued down to the card base. All right, so this is the base, and we're going to fold this also Mountain Valley style. And so it's going to look like that. All right, so here's our two basic pieces. And now for the foil, you are going to need a piece that is 2 and an eighth by 4 and a quarter, and then another piece that's four and a quarter by four and a quarter. I'm going to go ahead and use some wet glue for these. And we're going to put this on. Our base here. And I'm bringing it all the way down to the bottom here. So they kind of match up once they're um, both glued down. And then we'll do the same with this one. The reason I like the wet glue for this is because you can move it a little bit and make sure that they're even because you want to line the edges up the same. So I'm going to put that there. Make sure like this is even too. On my other one, I I forgot to like look at this part right here, and so I got it a little bit. Um, uneven. So I'm trying not to do that with this one. Add a little bit under here. And probably a little bit over here. Alright, so we have our foil down right there. So you can see how they match up now. Alright, so now we're what we're going to do is we're going to add some glue here. And again, use wet glue so you can move it a little bit. And then just center this in the middle here. And then this is going to fold down like that. So I'm going to put wet glue again on here. And you just need to be a little bit careful about when you're um, 
putting this one down. So line that up. And again, you can move it so it's even. And then there you have it. Isn't that pretty? I like it with the red. I'm not sure if I which one I like better, um, the dark green or the red. I kind of like the red because it takes from this one here. So that's it, and it's very easy to do. And then you have your sentiment, and it's it's like one of those wow cards. And then here's the simpler version, which is, is really nice too. So I hope you try this for yourself. It's really um, a fun card to do. If you need any supplies, you can go to my blog at stampingwithamore.com and shop for my blog. Have a blessed one, everyone, and I'll catch you in the next one. I'll see you later. Bye.